Hello everybody, Liz here from Blue Ridge Biomechanics. Gonna go over our next exercise on how to keep our mid back moving and also to help if it may not be just stiffness. So there's a couple reasons why our mid, not, our mid back may not be moving well. Again, it's important for our shoulder health. It needs to extend. It's also important to be able to rotate and not have to reach just with our shoulders. So you can either have stiffness where your spine just doesn't move or you can have a lack of strength and where you can't actually reach into that range. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes our body will limit our motion if it doesn't feel like we have strength in that motion, in that range, to protect our joints. So this exercise covers both. What you're gonna do, you're gonna lie on your side. I like using a pillow, because it supports my head a little bit better. Your knees are gonna come up to your chest. Okay, this is important because it locks down your low back. Okay, what's gonna happen next is that you're gonna put your arm across your chest and you're gonna rotate your body backwards. Your head just can follow along just as it feels comfortable, okay? What I like for people to do is instead of reaching and trying to get that range with their back muscles, I like for people to use their stomach muscles. So think about the bottom part of your rib cage, that one, and the top hip. Connect those two dots with your ab muscles and pull yourself across. If you are a kayaker, this is just like a forward sweep stroke, okay? You want that rotation with it. And so think about that when you're trying to find these muscles that you're trying to use for this motion. Um, you can end up straightening your arm out, but I prefer it to be bent because I'm not looking for a shoulder stretch, I'm looking for a mid-back stretch. So again, knees to chest, rotate back, using those abdominal muscles. So it looks on the other side. It's a great stretch and it feels wonderful. Again, this is how it would be if you want to input shoulder stretch as well. Good. I hope this exercise helps if you need it. If you have questions, let me know. And it's really good after you get done with a big day or it's a great exercise to start your day too. Warm up your body, get things moving, get things going. It's also good if you before you get onto the water or before you get onto the bike to make sure that you have, you're having that good mobility and you've warmed some muscles up. Have a great day guys and enjoy.